G'day, let's have a look at this TP-Link 16 port gigabit switch. It does also have 8 port PoE, so a few of these ports will have power over Ethernet, which is good just for powering security cameras or sort of any other IoT devices like that. So the front cover we've just got, obviously the 16 Ethernet ports there, RJ45 ports. And then on here we just have an LED display, so that'll just show, show the PoE status, either default power, delivering power or a fault. And then for the actual link speeds, we've got those different link speeds and the activity there as well. Nothing really to it on the top, on the side, just have some venting, a couple of screws, and then these screw mounts here. So you can mount brackets to this and mount this into a rack. So the other side's gonna be the same. We've got a little fan here as well for cooling. And on the back, we just have that power coming in and just an extra earthing spot as well. So there's just a few screws, I'll dig straight into it. That comes apart nice and easy. Just got a press cheap metal case on top that's just painted on the outside, not really on the inside, but it seems to be galvanized, so I don't think there'll be really any issues with this rusting. You want to keep this away from moisture anyway, as there's a lot of sensitive electronics. So let's have a look at the power supply side. We've just got that power coming in. We've got earth going straight down to the case, so that's really good. We've got earthing on that whole case. And then we've got that live and neutral coming straight in through. There's a couple of capacitors there and then a couple of inductors. So that's just going to be filtering any noise that's coming in from the actual power lines. On the side here, that's nice to see. We've got a bridge rectifier. So that's going to be changing that AC into a DC current before that sends it on to the two transformers that we've got here. So we've got a nice small transformer here and then a bigger transformer there, and a whole bunch of capacitors surrounding this, and a couple of other chips just supporting as, as supporting components uh, to this circuit. On the output side as well, we've got a couple of little, little inductors there and the two big capacitors as well on the output, so that'll be just stabilizing that DC voltage coming out of this as well. Yeah, I think we're gonna have two transformers here because I think that bigger one is gonna be dedicated to the PoE output, and then the smaller one's gonna actually be powering all the electronics for this. So that's really good to see that that's split up because if there's any faults or any issues or surges or whatever on that PoE circuit, on the higher, higher capacity circuit, you don't want that coming back in and messing with the power supply for your delicate electronics on here. So we've also got two different power connections going into the board as well. So that's what makes me think this is all split up. And we've got some beefier cables here. So that's probably gonna be for that PoE. Awesome, so power supply side on the right and then coming into the main board, we've obviously got that DC supply coming in. And then this board here, a couple of, actually there's quite a few little transistors there. So how many, P, this is eight POEs. So we're gonna have most likely eight, two, four, six, eight, yeah. So if I can show that a little bit closer, these little black bits here, they're gonna be the little transistors. So they're gonna be turning that power on and off for these little ports or switching it. However, the microcontroller on board decides is appropriate. Not sure what the exact protocol for that is. But we've got this, so this is the actual power delivery side for that PoE, which is what most likely this power here is gonna be coming into. And then this power here, we come into the board and then we go through a couple of small capacitors, a little inductor there as well, just for a bit more filtering. And then we go into that microprocessor that's underneath here. And we've also got another little microcontroller down there. Uh, this one here is just gonna be doing all the actual protocols because we see all those tracks leading from this one onto these bigger cases, which are just gonna be trans transformers there. So each of these ports will effectively go through a small transformer. So that transformer just decouples the actual cable and the signal on that with this board. So the reason that does is, the reason it does that is it's gonna be acting as a bit of a low pass filter. So that ethernet cable, however long that actually is, will pick up a lot of interference, a lot of high frequency stuff. So this, uh, these transformers will basically just filter all that out. And also any sort of surges or anything like that that come through, provided they're not too powerful, will just get decoupled by that and not actually affect and mess with the board too much. And that, that whole process and all of that just stabilizes the wave function that comes through that, uh, through that RJ45 port. So the way the ethernet cable works is it uses a differential signal. So it'll use two different 
cables to communicate or to send the same signal on, but they're going to be differential. So one of them, the same magnitude, but one of them is going to be positive, the other one's going to be negative. So they're just going to be flipped effectively. So the reason that's done is you can cancel out a lot of noise because if one line gets some noise and the other one doesn't, they just cancel out, take the average, and then you can smooth that whole signal down as well. The other thing down here, we've got a whole bunch of little capacitors as well. So they're just going to be basically supporting these tran transformers here um, from the output from the transformers to the actual ports there. Underneath here, again, as I sort of mentioned before, we're going to have that microprocessor doing all the actual processing and switching for this, or the signals. And then this guy, we're doing the actual switching and, and the conversion there as well. And then just a couple of, so this guy here and, and this, this guy here, they're little crystal oscillators which is just actually a bit of crystal in there. And as you apply a voltage to it, it'll vibrate at a very precise frequency, which the microcontroller can pick up and then use that as, as, use that as its clock. So basically these guys can all function very precisely on the same clock, which is good because you need this whole thing to be in sync really well. On the left side here, we just got that little fan that will just spin around and actually push that air outwards. So as that air gets pushed out, we've got that fresh air being sucked in from the right side. So the air will go through the power supply first, then through this whole board. This is really nice to see. We've got a nice lot of ribbing here and ribbing on this heatsink up here as well. And that's perfectly aligned with the airflow. So as the airflow comes through, it'll flow this way, heat up and then get expelled out to the left. And it's good to see basically for, for cooling, you want to have as high surface area as possible. So as that air passes through all these ribs, it's just got a high contact area there. That's it, everything's just bolted straight down to the bottom. Um, and then actually the other thing that we haven't touched on is just this here. So, I mean, we looked at it before, but that's just gonna be a small PCB hidden underneath here. I'll get a bit of a flashlight so you can see that a bit better. So just behind all those cables, We've just got a small PCB there with a small little microcontroller that will just communicate via the ribbon cable back to the main main board here and then just display any of those statuses or flash these LEDs accordingly to, to display statuses of this whole machine. So that's it. That's all there is to this one. Thanks very much for watching. Hit that like button if you want to see more of this sort of stuff. Definitely consider subscribing and whatever you do, have a great day.